Hello YouTube, this is Blake. I'm gonna be on un unboxing here an Xbox Series X controller here. I heard the body uh, of the controllers barely changed from the Xbox One version, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and we're gonna take a look and see what we got here. So let's remove this and let's unbox it. All right, so here it is, Robo, <laughs> Robo White here. Um, so let's put this all the way down. That is pretty awesome. So this is the Xbox Series X Robo White here. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can have a better look here. All right, so here's the controller and first impressions just holding it. It feels a lot grippier, like a wholly, uh, really, really grippier texture versus the Xbox One here. The Xbox One is all, all kind of, how do I say, clear kind of plastic um, feeling. It's not as, is not as grippier of a texture as this actual Xbox Series X controller. This is, wow, you can just feel it, how grippier it is compared to the Xbox One. Uh, Xbox One controller here. Looks like even the, the triggers here on the Xbox Series X controller are textured. They're actually check textured compared to the Xbox One controller here. So this is all glossy plastic, as you can see, glossy plastic, whereas the Series Actual X is textured. Yeah, textured. Let me see if the actual shoulder buttons are any kind of different here compared to the Xbox One controller. Yeah, so there is a difference. So this is like glossy, glossy uh, 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 when it comes to the shoulder buttons on the Xbox One, but the Series X is not glossy at all. Um, another obvious thing I'm seeing here is the new share button right here in the middle. So I heard this share button in the center of the, the actual controller um, near the actual menu and view buttons here. It makes it easier to quickly take like screenshots, start recording a video clips with a single actual button press here. So that is pretty, pretty con uh, cool. Also heard the biggest change is actually the actual D-pad here. So the D-pad is more responsive and obviously it's a, a new hybrid. Let me kind of zoom in for you guys. A new hybrid style direction uh, uh, on the actual Series X here. So it's like a hybrid kind of style directional button. So it's just kind of like the, the actual Xbox Elite controllers. It's kind of a, a concave, you know, half halfway between a, a cross-shaped D-pad of like the ver uh, of the previous model, which is the Xbox One, and then the concave D-pad that is the design of the actual Xbox Elite Series 2 controllers here. So I just wanna kind of feel how this compares here using this yeah, it's not bad all right let's see what the xbox one controller here is like so oh yeah that is that is much different here so not only the xbox one is glossy uh but it does not nowhere near feel as it does on the actual xbox series x controller here so this is a way superior d-pad um, on the actual Xbox Series uh, X here controller. There's also two, I heard two small changes around the wireless technology of this controller. So the latest version here supports the Xbox wireless pairing protocol uh, used by the, the Xbox One, but also the new controller actually takes advantage of an upgraded, a prior, prior they call it fiber ah, some type of obviously patented wireless uh, connection system and according to Microsoft uh, it's a new feature called dynamic latency input so it actually pings uh, the controller here um, and with more inputs more frequently than before than like the previous controller so I thought that was pretty cool uh, when I was reading up on the controller. Now, sadly, the Xbox controller continues to demand AAA batteries here. So yeah, the new Xbox Series X, same thing. It takes AAA batteries here and you can actually see it within the box. It has two AAA batteries here, uh, some AAA Duracells by the looks of it um, in the box itself. So yes, it still requires AA batteries. I was looking forward to maybe some 
like a built-in lithium ion battery i know some people feel it's superior to have replaceable batteries in the the controller here because i know you can go through the controller's battery uh pretty quickly here on other consoles uh but yeah on this one here it is still just like the previous xbox ones it is rechargeable here so as you can see double a batteries now the new controller actually features usb c port rather than a micro usb port so usb c ah there it is right there usb c here uh on the new xbox series x controller so i thought that was definitely a welcome change here you can see on the actual xbox one controller here it is a usb uh was that b uh, on the actual controller here. So yeah, that is another change on the controller, but I can say this, the, the grippier texture of the controller, the grippier texture on the actual uh, uh, triggers here, and just to feel the triggers on the Xbox One, yeah, I feel like superior, superior triggers, maybe they're the same, but yeah, being textured, they just feel so much better in the hand here. Um, same thing with the actual um, the actual shoulder buttons here. They're no longer glossy, um, and they feel just a little bit more clickier and more responsive here. So all all around, this is a very superior controller versus the the actual Xbox One. It may seem like there not much changes, but with the grippier texture, the grippier uh, uh, triggers, and the USB-C and the d-pad change it is an overall a better controller here um, so yeah if you guys like this video uh, please like if you guys want more please subscribe but you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe out there